the question we're going to be talking about today is, did slavery really end in 1865? During the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln issued the Inspiration Proclamation, which gave slaves their freedom, and then passed the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery completely. But after the Civil War was over, the South had to rebuild. The South economy relied solely on the backs of slaves to drive their economy, to keep it going. And when that was taken away, their economy fell, and it fell hard. The need for labor was crucial for the South. It was the only way they were going to rebuild. When Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, that opened up the door for the South to do whatever they wanted, like take advantage of the criminal justice system. They put in petty laws and low-level offenses to lock up African Americans at a large rate and use them as forced labor to get the South economy going again. They were forced to work for farms, plantations, big corporations, and even in the mines. Some were even worked to death. Other forms of forced labor like sharecropping took hold of the South as well. Sharecropping was the slaves working for their former master in exchange of the year's harvest, which really meant they trade their labor for crops. But there was problems with that because a lot of the time slaves didn't have tools or anything to farm the land. So the landowner would charge them at a rate he knew they couldn't pay. And that kept them in a slave like system. Even though sharecropping stopped, the forced labor in the criminal justice system did not. As a matter of fact, incarceration rates has grown out of control since the end of the Civil War. Through the years, politicians and even presidents painted black men and women as super predators and thugs and destroyed the image of black people. They even used large efforts like the war on drugs to lock up African Americans at higher rate and use federal resources to do so. And as time went on, mass incarceration even got worse by Bill Clinton's three strikes in your outlaw, which made the number of people incarcerated rise to 2.3 million. Today in America, there are more people locked up here than any other place in the world. It is all and it is all for money and labor. There are private companies that are making money off of the number of people that are in jail right now, which drives more of the demand for people to be locked up. Mass incarceration is slavery. Some people call it slavery by another name. And the sad and ugly truth about it, slavery never ended in America. They just transformed it. It evolved into a modern day slavery. Even though some politicians vowed to stop this, it shows no signs of going away.